Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. In this video, we will be unboxing a 24 inch general pump surface cleaner. Also, I would like to mention, please check out the description. The links in the description, also the pinned comment will bring you to our resource page if you want to find out more helpful information to grow your pressure washing business today. So right here, we have a general pump 24 inch surface cleaner. This is a three tip spray bar. As you see right here, I got Apex and Big Chris unboxing it. Apex is our house mechanic, if you will. Big Chris is, um, he's our lead technician. So he was very interested in seeing how this surface cleaner was put together. It's actually not too bad to put together as you see in the video here. The casters came on the surface cleaner already. I didn't know that. So that was a plus. Those were something we would not have to install. Um, I have bought surface cleaners in the past where the caster needed to be installed. So that was a, kind of a headache doing that. But these were already installed. The spray tips were already in. Everything was ready to go. This surface cleaner also, as I mentioned, has an alamite on the top. That is great news because the alamite can take a grease fitting, you know, and then you could pump some grease into it every now and then. We used uh, a, like a light lithium grease to go in those Surface cleaner seems to work out really good and also rinsing them out really good after each use is imperative. So they installed the handle. Everything went pretty smoothly with that. Um, there was a lot of packing in the box, as you've seen. So there was no damage to the unit when it arrived with this um, through UPS. And approximately cost was about $500. Now, Apex has had one of these general pump 24-inch surface cleaners for uh, about a year going on now, and he has put hundreds and hundreds of hours in it. I think it's probably getting ready for a new spindle. I can't say that for sure, but it's been an awesome surface cleaner. After all those hours hitting rocks and everything else, sticks and everything, the thing's still running good. So you will have to change out the tips occasionally on it. That's something else I want to talk about. This surface cleaner did come with some tips. These came with O. Two, so it was pretty much rated like for a 5.5 gallon per minute machine. Three tips, O2s, gives you six gallons per minute. We use an a 12 gallon per minute machine, so we put O4s in it, and that is what you'll probably need to do. Um, adjust those tips for your flow. Also, guys, I wanted to mention here as well, these surface cleaners are fairly lightweight, so someone can grab this out of your truck or off your trailer and walk off with it. So if you stop for lunch or you run into the store to get some supplies or something, please put a bicycle chain on it. Just make it a little bit more difficult for someone just to walk off with it. I have had them stolen before, and I was not happy about losing $500. So as you see here, we are um, putting on the handle. Um, basically, the handle is shaped like a fork. It kind of goes down to one on the left side, one on the right side. And you just want to um, apply a little bit of uh, torque to it when you tighten it down. The bolts were supplied in the box, so everything came with it. I think right here we was just using a little small adjustable wrench that does the trick just well. I have seen guys over torque this, and those little bolts are not really designed to withstand a massive amount of torque. So just be careful whenever you're torquing that down. If you pop that bolt, it could be fixed, but you know it's just one more extra headache that you have to deal with when putting this thing together right out of the box. So like I said before, everything came in a box as promised uh, through the website. It was 24 inch general pump surface cleaner. It's got casters on it. It has a three tip spray bar. Now, like I said, this was about $500 after shipping. This can be used with a four gallon per minute machine. A lot of guys wanted to know that it can be. Sometimes when you run across some extremely dirty concrete, if you only have in four gallons per minute, you will need to pre-treat with a sodium hypochlorite solution. Generally speaking, around a 3% and then let that dwell for about 10 minutes and then a surface cleaner would go right through it. Now, of course, the higher flow machines, you probably wouldn't have to do that every time, but the lower flow machines, it will definitely speed up your cleaning process. So right here, we're just putting the finishing touches on putting this together. I think our uh, time to put it together was about 10 minutes. Um, right here, you see they are adjusting the spray tips when it come from the factory. Um, it had some spray tips in it, so we wanted to change those out. So we just pulled out the, the spray tips that originally came with it to put our own spray tips in it to match our flow on our machine. Now, whenever you install any spray tips, that slot needs to be exactly parallel straight with that spray bar. 
So um, 12 to 6, if you will. And if you have them off a little bit, that is definitely going to degrade your surface cleaning speed, ability, and quality. So make sure those are straight in line with that bar. Again, here, you don't want to over-tighten them. So uh, sometimes you have to use a little bit of Teflon to uh, snug them up and then tighten them down just until they in line. And uh, it will require a little more than hand tightening here. But once you get that straight, all three tips go in uh, pretty straightforward. Also would mention to have an extra set of spray tips on your truck because these spray tips can last a year or they might last only 10 minutes. Just depends on if you accidentally hit something or, you know, a rock gets caught under it and damages a couple of spray tips. That can happen at any time. So always please have those extra spray tips on your truck ready to go. And if you don't, you know, that means you might have to pack up and go home or go searching around hunting down spray tips. And that could be definitely a time killer right there. We all about maximizing our time on a job. We love what we do, but we want to uh, get it done and get it over with, get paid and move on to the next project. And a little preparation and preparing and having a few extra spare parts on the truck definitely goes a long way. So you see here, they were just uh, straightening them out a little bit. They did um, go on just fine and everything went great with that. As you see, that's a three tip spray bar. Now, I would not use this surface cleaner with anything under a four gallon per minute machine. Four gallon per minute machine would a, be a minimum flow for this. And it, this should be able to handle anything up on eight, 10, or even 12 gallons per minute with your pressure washer. So guys, I'm out of here again. I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you like these videos. Also, check out those links in the description to help grow your pressure washing business today. Until next time, we will see you in the next video.